Wow. Ooh, amazing. Amazing. I'm watching it. In the vast expanse of space, our moon holds many mysteries, captivating astronomers and stargazers alike. Among its enigmatic features lies one that stands out, the Lunar X. But what is it? Is it real or an illusion? How can we see it? And when is it visible? I'm going to answer to all those questions in this video. And of course, I will show you the real capture of this amazing and exotic object in the moon, this time with my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope, without any tracking, just the pure views of the moon. But what is it? The interplay between sunlight and the lunar landscape is fascinating. As sunlight touches elevated regions or protruding features, it casts shadows that create the illusion of sharp peaks, glowing arcs and vast canyons. Additionally, certain light formations resemble simpler shapes in the darkness of the lunar night. But when the sunlight, during specific lighting conditions, strikes the rims and peaks of these three adjacent craters, Purbak, Lakai and Blanchinos, something magical happens. The alignment of these features creates the illusion of an X-shaped, mysterious pattern on the lunar surface, providing astronomers and lunar observers with a fascinating sight. This effect only happens a few times a year, when the Moon's orientation to the Sun and the Earth form shadows in just the right pattern. But is it real or just an illusion? Lunar X is an example of pareidolia, something that is happening to you right now while you're watching these images. Pareidolia exists as a result of the complex way our brains process and interpret visual information. Our brains are wired to recognize patterns and make sense of the world around us, which is an essential survival trait. By quickly identifying familiar shapes or objects, we can react appropriately to potential threats or opportunities in our environment. Additionally, our brains are highly attuned to facial recognition, as it plays a crucial role in social interaction and communication. This heightened sensitivity to facial features can lead to seeing faces even in random arrangements of objects or patterns. Furthermore, pareidolia may also stem from our innate tendency to seek meaning and coherence in our surroundings. When faced with ambiguity or uncertainty, our brains often try to impose structure and order, even where none exists, to make sense of our surroundings. Therefore, we quickly identify the X because it's a familiar pattern to us. The X, as well as other alphabet letters, leads us to identify those familiar patterns in every sky object and everywhere. How many times you watched the clouds in the sky and saw familiar shapes as faces, animals, whatever. A lot, right? That's the same effect on the Moon X. However, it is there. It's not something that doesn't exist. You can watch it by a reflection of the light of the sun. But when is it visible? There are numerous effects observable on the Moon, and many of them, like the Lunar X, are fleeting phenomena. To catch sight of them, one must observe during a brief time frame when they become visible. The Lunar X phenomenon is visible for a few hours each month, about six hours before the Moon enters its first quarter phase. The bright silvery X appears right along the Lunar Terminator the line that separates the light and dark sides of the Moon. Once the Lunar X has formed, it remains visible for approximately an hour, gradually fading back into the lunar surface over the course of 70 minutes as illumination shifts. In total, the window for observation spans 4 or 5 hours. But let me give you some tips if you want to watch this amazing and exotic object as we will do right now, but by yourself. To do that, it's better to plan the things ahead of time. I use a simple and standard application in my smartphone, but you can get anywhere online 
a moon calendar. That way you can track the exact night the moon will be at first quarter and it's before the first quarter. Then you can download and install a simple sky application. I use Sky Safari but you can use Stellarium as well. They are free to install and use with limited features of course but it allows you to plan the things ahead of time inserting the date and time of the first quarter and like that you will simulate the position in the sky where the moon will be during the X phenomena. Another way to do it and I strongly recommend you if you want to go deeper on the moon subject it's to install uh, an application to the desktop and it's free you have the links on my website dobsonianpower.com in the free resources tab and it's called the virtual moon with it you can fully explore the features and phenomenon of the moon and I will be here in the channel to guide you to the best phenomenon that you have to watch. It's better than you think. But is it feasible naked eye? To watch the exotic Lunar X, you will need binoculars or a telescope. It can be a small one. Just slowly follow the Terminator line upward from the bottom edge of the moon until the X comes into view. Let me show you how and what it looks like with my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. Okay, this should be easy to find. I'm using the 3.5mm eyepiece, loads of magnification, and I will insert it into the 8-inch. It's not a very good position, and I'm not using any tracking, any equatorial platform. It's for the moon, and just to watch it, it's easy like this. And now to focus and point the telescope. Now I will watch through the Terminator. That's what I'm doing. And got you. Wow. <laughs> amazing, amazing, I'm watching it. Beautiful. It's the X over the contrast, the X over the dark side of the moon. It's amazing. Let me show you. There we go. Let me show you. Good experience for you to do. There we go. See? It? Beautiful. Interesting, right? You might want now to click on this video over here to go deeper in your knowledge about the moon features and mysteries.